Three years after Myanmar's military coup, the regime continues to kill, maim, and displace its own people. Over 5,000 have been murdered and 2.5 million displaced. India has maintained formal relations with Myanmar's military regime, defending this stance as necessary to protect its interests, despite the ongoing violence and humanitarian crisis. Indian foreign policy scholars argue that working with the junta is essential. However, there's a growing call for a more progressive, values-driven approach to Myanmar. India can adopt a new policy that balances its interests with democratic values and human security. This approach can distinguish India from China. India should leverage its status as the largest federal democracy to support Myanmar's pro-democracy resistance, aiding in capacity building and knowledge exchange. India must stop selling weapons to Myanmar's military. Advocacy groups report ongoing sales of military hardware, which the junta uses against civilians. India should open cross-border humanitarian corridors to aid civilians affected by the conflict, especially in Sagang region, Chin state, and northern Rakhine state. The Indian government should halt the detention and deportation of asylum seekers from Myanmar, treating them as refugees in need of protection. India's Myanmar policy must prioritize democracy, human security, and ethical diplomacy.